We all want to save time and we want to automate as much in our business as possible. In this video I'm going to talk about the softwares that I use to automate my business so that I have to spend minimal time maintaining the business. I have uh, messages to reply but other than that I automated everything. And now I'm going to talk about the softwares that I used to make my life easier. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Emesha from Everything Digital and here on this channel I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. Without any further ado, let's talk about these softwares. Before we begin, I would like to mention that I will leave a link down below in the description to all of these softwares. You can check them out and if you would like to try some of them, please use my link as it helps out my channel and I can create more free content for you here on YouTube. The first and one of the most important softwares that I use is Canva Pro. Of course, the Pro account costs money, but it offers so much more than the free account that uh, they have. Because I create not only my products in Canva, but also social media content, uh, my other clients work, because I have a few clients that I do graphic design and some other uh, services for. I use Canva for that, next to Photoshop, I use them in combination. And they have a great resource library. They are adding new and new items each and every day. The templates and the layouts are awesome and I can only recommend Canva Pro. If you design digital products and uh, not only social media content or some other website content, you have to be careful not to use the Pro elements in your designs because if your final client doesn't have the Canva Pro account, they cannot use that element. They will be asked to pay for that element. Now what you can do is uh, you download these elements that you would like to use and re-upload them as PNG files. This is a little tip how you can uh, add pro elements into your designs but please do not abuse the system, just a few elements here and there. You can create amazing designs with the free elements they have, if you, but if you'd like to purchase clip art or some other vector elements, you can use my other great resource and that would be Creative Market. They have all kinds of clip art, vectors, mockups, and I use Creative Market quite a lot for my uh, design uh, needs, next to Canva. Another valuable tool that I use, and I tend to use this every day nowadays, is Sales Samurai. This tool helps me enormously with my Etsy SEO and it helps me find the right keywords so that my items can rank higher and higher. And as you know, Etsy changed their algorithm. So now I am going through all of my listings and redoing them, not just the images, but also the description and keywords. And I go to Sales Samurai and check these keywords and I find the best ones that will help my designs rank. And when you have more than a thousand digital products across uh, two shops, that is quite a big job to do, next to filming videos, editing them, creating new products and updating them, of course. So Seal Samurai helps me out a lot. And if you would like to try Seal Samurai, I have a 20% discount code for you for your lifetime subscription. So you will have to spend less money uh, on your Etsy store. You can use the code MSF for 20% off Seal Samurai. Link down below in the description. The next resource, and this one is free, well, two resources because they are kind of intertwined but separate. The next would be Google Trends. Uh, this is a free website that you can check and uh, you can validate some of the keywords that you are uncertain of. Also another trend related tool is the Etsy trend reports that they create, I think, every quarter. These reports are made by Etsy experts and they are scouring the Etsy platform constantly to find new and upcoming trends. And if you get on uh, the train early enough, you can uh, profit off of these trends uh, enormously, especially now that the holiday season is coming up. Now, social media. Here I would like to tell you about two things. One is uh, free and the other one costs money if you wish to pay for it. The free option would be the business, the meta business uh, suite or business center, whatever you want to call it. You can also access this from your page. But here you can schedule all of your social media content, posts and stories, both to Instagram and to Facebook, if you have a Facebook page. Now, but how do you make the graphics for that? Of course, the easiest way to create your graphics is Canva. But did you know that the Canva Pro account has a social media planner in it? And if you link your social media accounts to Canva, you can schedule directly from Canva to your Instagram and to your Facebook account. How easy it is, you create the design, you go to the 
social media planner page and there, boom, with a f only a few click, you can schedule a post to your Facebook or to your Instagram page. Now, this is only available for the pro account and this is one of the reasons that I use the pro account as well. It is so versatile that I cannot uh, tell you and that I cannot rave enough about Canva in my videos. Now, on to the next tool that I use. As you saw my business budget videos earlier this year, I use Shutterstock for all of my images. I have a subscription to them, a monthly subscription. With the subscription that I had, you could download up to 10 images every month for a flat fee so you don't so you don't have to pay by image because if you choose that option of course the images cost a lot more than with this subscription now let's circle back to social media and as we know short form content is on the rise this was started by tiktok and now i feel like every social media platform is trying to be tiktok this is why instagram introduced reels and facebook introduced stories they are pushing short form content this is why i like to use a software called invideo uh, this can be used on a desktop computer and on your mobile phone too many creators use only their phones so if you have your product and if you would like to create a short TikTok or a short Instagram reel about let's say how you create that product or how that product is used in real life you can uh, quickly edit it in, in video. It is very easy to use, you have to get the hang of it but after you do two or three videos it will be very easy to use. And the last stuff is to automate your Pinterest game. Now, as we all know, Pinterest likes fresh and new pins. If you repin an already existing pin from somebody else's Pinterest board, that does not count as a new pin. So what I use is a service called Tailwind. I pay for this once a year, it's not that expensive if you break it down uh, monthly. And this way you can schedule all of your Pinterest content months and months and months ahead. Of course, you can do it uh, every month to keep it uh, current and fresh, but it helps you automate your traffic and your lead generation to your uh, store. It is very easy to use. You have to install an extension to Chrome and by clicking on that uh, extension, a new window will pop up where you can select the images that you would like to schedule into Tailwind. And after all of the images are uh, scheduled, Tailwind will do the hard work for you. I've used Tailwind for four years now and I am very pleased with it. These were the softwares that I use on a day-to-day -day basis so that it will automate and make my life easier. Don't forget that the links to these are down below in the description. I would really appreciate if you would use my links. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. See you in the next one.